Hi everybody, welcome back to a drunk review, uh, wine for dummies by dummies. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing, uh, the El Duca Imperial 1917. Now it's a Rosa, not a Rosé, okay? Because I'm not a wine drinker myself. Can I just put this in the camera right there? Oh, look at that. That might work. I could just slide it over. You know, I'm not a wine drinker, but I walked into Total Wine with my friend and, like, his family. And they were given a sample of of this. And I said to the lady, I'm like, you know, I don't really drink wine. And she's like, well, that's an even better reason to try it. I'm like, you're pretty smart there, woman. You're pretty smart. Good thing you work here, you know. And so I got a little sample cup. And it was fantastic. Um... I said, I need a bottle of this. You know, it was really weird because, as I said, I'm not a wine drinker. And so, um, I got the bottle and it tasted pretty good. So now, I already started a video. It, did, it just didn't record, so I'm not going to pour it out. I'm not going to pour more because I don't need more. Um, but yeah, here's the bottle. It's a semi-sweet right here on the bottom. Uh, the ABV is a 5.5. We got right here on the scale we're at a six between uh sweet and unsweet sweet and dry i'm sorry that's the correct terms as i said by dummies for dummies i hope you really don't drink wine if you do let me know how i'm doing um it's a 750 milliliter bottle you know it's just a standard wine bottle um on the back it says partially fermented grapes must Oh, that's in Spanish. From Italian, not Spanish. From the beautiful Italian countryside comes our delicious Rosa Imperial, a refreshing red wine to be served chilled and accompanied by fresh fruit and cheese. I would have to agree with that. As I said, I'm not really a drinker, but um, it tastes like grape Sprite. It's like fizzy. Um... It goes down great. Um, like, um, the AB, as I said, the ABV is not that high. So you could probably just drink this like it's water. Uh, I wouldn't suggest that. But uh, let's see what else. Yeah, it's from Italy. Uh, yeah, I don't know. And now that I'm more towards the bottom, we can kind of see the color more. Because before my other video, like, I I had it pretty full, so I couldn't really tip it. It's a nice red when the light goes through it. Um, it kind of doesn't smell like wine. Like, you know how, like, there's, like, you can smell, like, tequila. Or you can, like, get, like, a beer scent. Like, I would say this is definitely, like, something there. Like, I feel like if I got pulled over and he asked if I was drinking, and I'd be like, no. I'd be like, uh... He probably, I feel like he couldn't smell on my breath, but again, that's a driver, a drunk driver saying that, but yeah, I highly recommend this. Um, the bottle was only 10 bucks. Like if you get it and you don't like it, great, give it away. You know, if you really want to just dump it out, you know, you're not losing a lot of money. You're only losing $10 for a full bottle of wine. And I've had this, I think I got, I think this is like my fourth glass out of it, and like I fill it up pretty good. Like I get a full glass. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I, I highly re recommend it. Not sponsored, but um, yeah, I don't know, dude. Thanks for watching. If you want to see any more reviews on any um, beer, liquor, wine, spirits, whatever, you want to see me. Just get absolutely toasted in a video. Let me know down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you are a wine expert, let me know how I did. You know, if you if you drink this, let me know your opinion down below. Um, if you have something more like this that you want me to review, if you say, hey, you know what, this is great. You should try something else like this. They're pretty much the same, but just a different brand or uh, whatever, you know. Let me know down below. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.